Welcome back to Test IO Open Mic, the podcast that explores the world of software testing and helps you kickstart or advance your testing career. I'm your host, Charlie, and today we're continuing our Testers Spotlight series with a fascinating guest. Joining us is Bruna from Brazil, who's made an incredible journey from dentistry to software testing. Bruna, welcome to the show. Hello, Charlie. I'm thrilled to be here. We're excited to have you. Before we dive into your testing journey, I hear you're quite the gamer. What's your current favorite game on your PS5? Oh, that's a tough choice. I would say that Spider-Man has been my favorite these days. I love puzzle games, but lately, I've been exploring open-world games with stunning graphics. The way they create new environments to explore is just amazing. Sounds like your love for exploration carries over into your testing work. Now let's talk about your unique career path. You went from being a dentist to a software tester. That's quite a change. How did that happen? It's quite a story. I was actually planning a career transition to IT for about a year when my friend Nicholas Fantoni told me about crowd testing and test.io. Something about the platform just clicked for me. It fueled my desire to pursue this dream, and I started dedicating all my free time to learning and participating in test cycles. That's fascinating. Was it challenging to switch from such a different field? Absolutely. I have a master's degree in dentistry, specializing in dental prosthetics, so it has nothing to do with testing or software. It was a big leap, but with my wife's support and the opportunities at Test.io, I finally found the courage to pursue my dream job in IT. Now, I'm enrolled in a QA course to further improve my skills. Your dedication is impressive. You've achieved quite a lot in just six months on the platform. What's your secret? There's no real secret, just hard work and a willingness to learn. I read the academy materials multiple times, asked a lot of questions to those who are more experienced than me, focused on writing clear reports, and stayed active on Discord. The tournament for newbies was a game changer for me. I even woke up at 5.30 a.m. to participate. Wow, that's commitment. Now you're an onboarding manager. What's that experience been like? It's been incredible. I love helping new testers improve their report writing skills. The challenging part is guiding them without giving away all the answers. I want to encourage them to think for themselves. That's a great approach. Now let's take a quick detour to Brazil. On Discord, you mentioned some interesting facts about your country. The electric showers caught my attention. That sounds both fascinating and slightly terrifying. It does sound scary, doesn't it? But it's completely normal here, all the wires exposed. We're also known for our unique foods. Have you ever heard of cochinha or pau de queijo? I have. They are delicious. Before we wrap up, I'm curious. What's next for you in your testing journey? I'm really excited to learn more about test automation and dive deeper into hardware and software testing. My goal is to keep growing in this field and become the best tester I can be. That's wonderful, Bruna. Your enthusiasm is contagious. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. To our listeners, if Bruna's journey has inspired you to explore testing, remember that Test.io welcomes testers from all backgrounds. You can find links to get started in our show notes. That's all for this episode of Test.io Open Mic. If you enjoyed this conversation, please rate and review us on your favorite podcast app. Until next time, happy testing.